Hello, hello, Namaste, and peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me in our online yoga school, Prenatal Flow. I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your position. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Ensuring that the spinal cord is nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of that body helps create space in our belly for babies. Relaxing the shoulders downward away from the ears helps us relax and soothe the upper parts of our body. Gaze in the eyes downward or close in the eyes. As we take a nice breath in, Exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, if that feels good for us. As we relax in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Flowing the palms above our heads, coming into that salute. Fingertips flows up towards the heavens. Interlacing the fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Shoulders flows up towards the ears, elongating that spinal cord here. As we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back, Heart chakra is open, chin is up. Feeling this slight back bend in the lumbar spine. Three breaths. Two. Exhaling back to center, separating those palms. We are in our seated salute. I'm sorry, we are in our seated extended mountain. In our salute, our palms are together. In our extended mountain, our palms are separated. Here in our extended mountain, may we channel in, may we welcome in whatever is serving and soothing for us in our lives. Welcoming in positive change, allowing to flow out of us what is no longer serving or beneficial to our mind or our bodies. Understanding and realizing that change is definite, allowing what needs to flow to be released and allowing what needs to come inward to gravitate towards us as we welcome in positivity. Keeping the eyes gaze down, two more breaths. Slightly twisting the body towards the right, coming into a slight twist, bringing those arms downward towards the earth. We're gonna slightly gaze over that right shoulder, coming into that seated twist. Being mindful to not over twist the body, especially when we have big bellies. Connecting that left hand to that right knee if we're able to go deeper in that twist. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that seated star. And our star, our arms are slightly out towards the side. And then our extended mountain, our palms are above our head, but they are not together. Extended mountain. And our star, our arms are slightly off towards the side. Twisting the body slightly towards the left, palms come down towards the earth. We are in that seated twist opposite side. To go deeper in that twist, we can connect this right hand to this left knee, gazing over that shoulder for a nice deep twist if we're able, being mindful of baby and belly, four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back the center, coming into that seated star, flowing into that extended mountain, Coming into that salute, palms together. 
Bringing the palms down that heart center, seated prayer. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Gazing the eyes down or closing them if they feel good. Using this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. Two breaths. Flowing our palms on the sides of our bodies, connecting the palms to the yoga mat, palms to earth, as we are using our palms to channel into our environment. Taking a notice of what is going on around us right here, right now, in our present moment. Simply being aware. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sound. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. As we flow our feet into a bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly, the bottoms of our feet are together. This here is a hip opener, preparing the hips and the body for labor. In our diamond, our feet are further away from the body. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards the body. Noticing that in our butterfly, it's a little bit deeper in those hip flexors here. So listening to your body and doing what feels best for you, as we connect our hands to our feet or our ankles, gazing forward, keeping the heart chakra open and chin up, allowing the eyes to flutter shut or slightly gaze the eyes downward. As our head relaxes between our shoulder blades, coming into that seated cow, three breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our cat, slightly gently to our cat, bringing our chin to our clavicle, ensuring that we are not squishing baby in the tummy. Spinal cord goes slightly towards the back if we're able. Cat pose. Two breaths. <clears throat> Flowing back to our cow. Exhale to our bound position, diamond or butterfly, as we extend our legs outward towards the side, nice and wide legged, feeling that stretch here. We are working on opening up our hips, prepping the mind and body for labor. Here in our wide legged staff pose, we're going to slightly hinge at the hips, just a little. Notice that when we hinge at the hips, you'll feel that stretch a little more in our inner thighs. So being mindful not to overstretch. Being mindful of that relaxing hormone that is present in the body during pregnancy that allows the mind, that allows the body to stretch beyond its normal capabilities. But just being mindful and keeping awareness of that relaxing hormone, the false illusion of being able to go deeper in a pose as we slightly hinge at the hips, gazing forward. Allowing the eyes to flutter down. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to center. Taking our right hand, connecting that right hand to those right toes, still in that side stretch here. Allowing the torso to slightly come closer towards that thigh, being mindful of baby and belly. Only going down as much as our body and tummy allows us to go. We're simply feeling a stretch here. That's all we're doing. We're stretching. We're lengthening. And if we choose, we can extend that left leg. And if we choose, we can extend that left arm up in the air. Allowing that left arm to flow over the head as the head comes downward towards the knees and the arm. Only going over as much as you comfortably can. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. 
Check in your body to see how we feel. And if all feels well, we're going to extend that left hand to the left toes, allowing the body to lean slightly towards the left. Breathing that right arm up in the air, flowing that right arm over the head as our head comes closer towards our torso. As our head comes closer towards our thigh, shall I say. Coming nice and deep, only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to come down. Four breaths, feeling the side stretch here and that side body. Two more breaths. Exhale, body back to center. Slightly hinging at the hips, gazing forward, heart chakras open. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, placing the palms on the belly, taking a moment to check in with baby, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Taking nice, subtle breaths. Feeling our tummy expand outward. Exhale inward. Feeling the flow of the tummy coming in and out. Out and inward. You may even feel ba you may even feel baby moving in your belly. Maybe. As we relax here with the palms on the belly, four breaths of silence. Two more breaths. <sighs> Breathing our legs together, crossing our feet at our ankles as we flow into a tabletop, coming onto our hands and our knees. Here in our table, our knees are hip distance apart. Arms are flat on the earth. Feet are relaxed on a yoga mat or on the earth. As we drop our tummies downward towards the earth, you'll feel this curvature in your lumbar spine. Chin is slightly up, cow pose. This pose is good for lower back pain. It is also a labor prep pose. We're going to hang out here for four breaths. Two breaths. As we flow to our cat, bringing that chin to clavicle, being mindful of baby and belly only. Come into cat pose as much as you are able to without squishing baby. Three breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back to cow. Exhale, cat. Come into our table as we extend that right leg towards the back. Left arm comes forward. We are in that full sunburn. For balance, we can option to lower our right toes downward towards the earth. We are building strength and balancing here. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to table. Drop into cow. Exhale, cat. Come into our table as we extend that left leg towards the back. Breathing that right arm forward, sunbird, opposite side. Optioning to lower those left toes downward towards the earth for balance. As we are gaze forward, building strength and balancing. Four breaths. Two breaths.
Exhale back to table. Drop into cow. Exhale, cat. Low into table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding, finding pause at center, shifting weight slightly forward, high plank. Exhale back, down dog. Walking our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold. Maybe we are wide legged if we have a big belly. Maybe we're going to come into a half forward fold. Be mindful that coming into a complete forward fold beyond certain months can make you feel dizzy. So complete forward fold or half forward fold, depending on how far along you are in your pregnancy, depending on how dizzy you may feel. Listening to your body, my voice is just a guide. As we relax in our forward fold or half forward fold for natural breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and half forward fold. Breathing up to our mountain pose to dots in the palms or at our side. Relaxing the shoulders downward away from the ears. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our salute. Exhale, prayer. Breathing our feet slightly apart as we bend our knees coming down to a chair pose. Maybe we have a nice little stance. Maybe our feet are together in our chair. Whatever feels good for you. We can come into an extended chair by breathing our palms in front of us. We are working the lower parts of our bodies here. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to prayer hands. Breathe complete forward fold or half forward fold. Three breaths. Walking the hands forward, bring the feet together, down dog. Drop it onto our forearms, coming into a dolphin pose. Butt axe is in the air as we are gaze at the back of the room. Regress. Feel free to flow into a puppy pose if you feel a little dizzy. Puppy pose is a nice option. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a wide legged child's pose or puppy pose. Whatever feels best for you and your body. Allowing that heart chakra to come downward towards the earth. Arms are extended in front of us. That third eye chakra forehead is connected to the yoga mat. With the eyes flooded shut, six natural breaths. Mm. Flowing into prayer hands, if that feels good for you. Two more breaths. Extending our arms in front of us, palms flat on the earth. We're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose, puppy pose. Feeling this spinal wave in your spine, allowing the head and neck to also flow as our bodies relax and soothe and decompress here. Three more breaths. Mm. One more breath. Finding pause at center. 
crossing our feet at our ankles as we come onto our buttocks in a seated pose. Lowering on to our backside, we're going to grab our bolster pillow. If we don't have a bolster pillow, we're going to come into a fetal pose. Or if we're only a couple months, maybe we can still flow onto our backs. Placing this bolster pillow underneath the hip bone, the buttocks, right at that coxie. What we're doing is we are elevating those hip flexors here. That way, if the baby is too big in the belly, we're not applying too much pressure to the vena cava, which can make mom feel dizzy or maybe even pass out. So never lay it flat on the back once we reach a certain month, a certain size and pregnancy. Lifting the feet up in the air, flowing into a happy baby. Legs are out towards the sides. Wide legged happy baby, being mindful of baby and belly. Hands come between the thighs. Hands come up to the feet, connecting the hand to the feet. As we rock our body from side to side, if we're able, we can stay still if that feels best. Mm. Allowing the shoulder blades to melt back to the yoga mat, fluttering, fluttering the eyes shut. Three more breaths. Exhaling the legs up in the air, legs on the wall. Pointing those toes towards the heavens as we come wide legged, allowing the legs to flow towards the side, wide legged recline position here. Wide legged stretch. Two more breaths. Breathing our feet back inward, bringing our knees to our chest, but wide legged knees to chest. Being mindful of baby. Placing the feet down on the earth, knees are up in the air. Using our feet to lift our buttocks up, removing that pillow. We're going to do a couple of, we're going to do a bridge pose here, but we're going to pulse the body up, using the hands and the feet to pulse that body up here in that bridge. Coming back down, we are working that gluteus maximus, lifting the body back up in the bridge. You'll feel this here, working that gluteus maximus. Coming back down, lifting the body back up here in that bridge. Feeling that squeeze, burning and tightening that buttocks. Coming back down and flowing back up. Squeeze, squeeze. Working on rounding and lifting that buttocks. Exhaling back down, coming on to our sides, fetal pose. Taking that pillow, that blanket, placing it between the thighs. <sighs> Maybe placing a pillow underneath your neck. Fluttering the eyes down, close your gaze and the eyes close. Placing that top hand on that belly if that feels good for you. As we relax here in our fetal pose, like the fetus within the belly, for six natural breaths. Two more breaths. Using our top hand to lift our bodies up, coming into a fetal, coming into a seated pose, any seated pose of choice. I'm going to come into a cow face legs. May you find whatever seat that feels comfortable for you and your body. Ensuring that the spinal cord is elongated, keeping in mind that when we keep our spine elongated, lengthened, we create extra space in the belly for baby. Sometimes moms may feel the baby underneath their ribs, but simply sitting upwards, having that nice, good posture could help reduce some of that discomfort you may feel. As we relax the shoulders downward away from the ears, taking a nice breath in. Exhale, ensuring that the chin is relaxed. 
facial muscles are relaxed. The forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into that prayer, or we can place our palms on our bellies, showing baby a little love. Whatever feels best for you here, as we are using this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice prenatal yoga here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care and prenatal yoga with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste. Thank mm-hmm. you.